morning students today we are going to discuss about lines and angles all the topics what we have discussed now we will revise okay first we will start with the types of lines types of lines because about angles several times we have discussed and we have solved so many problems depending on the types of angles now coming to the types of lines here we are discussing about we discussed already about three types of lines so now we will observe this first one intersecting lines intersecting lines see if only two lines if two lines are meeting at a point intersecting at a point then those two lines are said to be intersecting lines okay And the angle not equal to ninety degrees may be greater or lesser, but not equal to ninety. And here, in case of intersecting lines, the two pairs of vertically opposed angles will be one, two, three, four. Here, four angles are formed, and one is opposite to angle three, and angle three is opposite to angle four. Angle one is equal to angle three because vertically opposed angles, and angle two is equal to angle three. Okay. So intersecting lines are nothing but two lines are meeting at a but point only two lines. Then they are said to be intersecting lines. And we are giving in case of intersecting lines, vertically opposite angles. Always vertically opposite angles are equal. And in English alphabet, letter X for this intersecting lines and letter B are intersecting lines. Okay. And coming to the perpendicular lines. So perpendicular lines. Just observe wherever you are meeting L shape. Means two lines are meeting such a way that they are making ninety degrees angle. P and Q. Here P and Q are intersecting at a point. And they are making ninety degrees angle. So P and Q are said to be perpendicular lines, and they are represented by reverse lines. P is perpendicular to Q. That is nothing but Q also perpendicular to. Okay. And remember here, whenever we are meeting the meeting point, they only will be at the angles. So here, in case of intersecting lines, we are getting the angles, and as well as in case of perpendicular lines, also we are getting the angles. And here each angle is equal to 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. But here, particularly opposite angles are equal, and two opposite angles will get two opposite angles will get not equal to 90 degrees. Okay? If the angle is equal to 90, those are perpendicular lines. Not equal to 90, those are intersecting lines. And coming to the examples for intersecting lines, the when you are opening a scissor, then You will get like X shape. So those two are those are uh, examples for intersecting lines. And coming to the perpendicular lines, uh, English letter alphabet A and B both are both are perpendicular. Means they are examples for perpendicular lines. Okay. And uh, best example where you are getting this type of lines is just observe your class. Class board, okay. Then observe the adjacent sides of the board, like L shape. So here they are forming ninety degrees. So these two are examples for perpendicular lines. Observe this board. See here, this side and this side are meeting at ninety degrees. So these two sides are said to be perpendicular lines. And now coming to the opposite sides, how are they? Parallel. If two lines are not at all meeting at any point, two lines not meeting at any point, and they are meeting equal distance, always meeting at equal distance. The lines are said to be parallel lines, and the best example for parallel lines is right edge, opposite sides of the right edge, as well as opposite sides of the board. Okay. And hence, they are represented by these parallel two ends. 
okay and whenever we are getting the intersecting point the normal will get the angle here we are not at all giving any intersecting point so there is no angle between parallel lines means angle between the parallel lines is zero angle between the perpendicular lines is 90 degrees angle between the intersecting lines is not equal to 90 that's all okay so these are the different types of lines we have discussed in measures of line set angles apart from this we have Congruent lines. See, remember here it is known as the point of intersection or intersecting point. When you are taking congruent lines, see if two lines are meeting at one point, we are calling them as intersecting lines. If four lines of lines are meeting at one point only, they are not called congruent. They are said to be congruent lines. Instead of two lines. Three or more than three lines are passing through the same point. Means they are meeting at same point. This line is said to be congruent lines. Through one point, we can draw so many lines. Yes, sir. All those lines are said to be congruent lines. And best example, uh, J B. Okay, J B is such a congruent lines. Example for congruent lines. And next, so here. The point where all lines are meeting, the point is known as point of congruence or congruent point. Okay, if three or more lines are passing through the same point, then those lines are said to be congruent lines, and the point is said to be point of congruence or congruent point. Okay, and next, this is about types of lines. And just answer. Same linear is angle line. So if they all are lying on the 
same length, then those points are said to be collinear points. Remember, not only two, if three are more than two, in that case they are said to be collinear points. If three are more than three lines are passing through only one point, they are one line, in that case one point. Those are congruent lines. Here, these are collinear points. Okay? And coming to the third figure, C is a polygon. Which are uh, all these 
questions I have given depending on the types of values and all these questions are related to angle sixes. Okay, now answer the questions. Angles which are more than zero, less than ninety. That means zero to ninety. But we call for all these angles less than ninety. But we are calling those are acute angles. Yes, sir. And coming to the second problem, angles which are more than ninety degrees. Let's say that this is this one eighty two three sixty. Which angle we are calling? One eighty two three sixty. More than straight line. So we are getting reflex angles. And coming to the third question, the angles which are more than ninety and less than one eighty means ninety to one eighty. Greater than ninety means less than one eighty. What do we come for the ninety to one eighty? All those angles are called as Obtuse angles and zero degree is called. What is here measurement given? What is the name of this angle? We must know. So what we will call for this angle? Zero angle. Zero angle. Zero angle. Zero angle. And measure of complete angle. Complete angle measures how many degrees? Three hundred and sixty degrees. One complete term. One term is equal to three sixty degrees. And one eighty degrees is called. So here measurement is given. We need to write its name. When they are given the name, we need to write the measurement. Okay. So one eighty degrees is called which type of angle? That is a straight angle. And measure a right angle. So here right angle name of the angle given. So what will what will be its value? We must know. Right angle is nothing but ninety. Okay, and coming to the last eighth problem, angles are measured in means what are the units of angles we have to write? Right? And coming to the next problem, angles are measured by which instrument? We measure in degrees. Okay, units of angles are degrees, and they are measured by the instrument called the protractor. Measured by protractor. So that is the difference between these two. If they are asking the units, you must write degrees. If they are asking about the instrument, then you have to choose protractor. Okay. So my first question is uh, types of 
uh, small staff fees and this equal of fees and this. then also I am see I am getting more than one day okay. there is no part of it you take two up to the other side two up to the other side you get a supplementary answer so in each pair of supplementary answer one needs a fee charging and one more is a fee charging and next year Equal supplementary annuals are half of one lakh. That is ninety plus lakhs. Okay. So these are the points related to supplementary annuals. In complementary annuals, sum is equal to ninety, and complement of any annual is ninety minus the target. And then two annuals must be appear in each pair of complementary annuals. Equal complementary annuals are forty-five rupees and forty rupees. These are the four points. Coming to supplementary annuals. Sum of two annuals must be equal to one eighty, and supplement of any annual is one eighty minus the sum of the two pairs. And in each pair of supplementary annuals, one annual should be upwards and another annual should be upwards. There is no possibility to take two upwards annuals and two upwards annuals. And equal of supplementary annuals are ninety degrees and ninety. Now third type of annuals are adjusted annuals. Adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are nothing but if two angles are sigma supports and making intersections. Okay, here I am getting angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four like this. Here which are termed as adjacent angles and which are called as opposite angles. Adjacent angles are in the sense they are like distances. Just observe, they must have common point. And one of the arm corner for both the angles. See, every angle is having compulsory one vertex and two arms. Those two arms are supposed to be two sides of the angle. O A O B are the sides of the angle O, and O is the vertex. Okay. For this angle one, this is the vertex. So first of all, it is O. So O is the vertex, and here O A O B. O C O D are the different arms of different angles. Now for angle one, vertex and arms will be right. Okay, like that only for angle two, angle three, angle four will be this. Now observe here for angle one, vertex is O, and the two of the arms are. O A O B, O A and O B. Okay, and now coming to the second angle, angle two. For angle two, we have the vertex O. Okay, and arms of angle two are O B O C. It is in between these two angles, these two arms. So O B O C. And coming to angle three, O C O D are the arms, and O is the vertex. O is the vertex, and O C O D are the arms. Answer third angle. And so fourth angle, O is the vertex, O D O U are the sides of the angle. Yes. So observe here, angle one and angle two. Uh, they are same vertex O. And the O B is the common arm for both the angles. Such angles are said to be adjacent angles. If two angles are having common vertex, okay, common vertex, and one of the arm is common, then those two angles are said to be adjacent angles. So angle one and two are having common vertex O, and they are having common arm O B. So that's why angle one and two are adjacent angles. Coming to angle one and three, even though they are having common vertex, O A O B are the arms of angle one, O C O D are the arms of angle three. See here, there is no common arm for angle one and angle three. Those are called as opposite angles. So here, one and two are adjacent, two three are adjacent, three four are adjacent, and four and one are adjacent. One three are opposite, two and four are opposite angles. Okay. So in case of intersecting, we are getting two 
very much up to the carbon and it was small and vertically up to the extract it as such as the adjacent angles and the sensitive half the rotation is the angles which are having it was suppose my angles are here and have vertex p q r this angle is divided into two parts so by taking one of the angle p is so here observe it is divided into two parts and complete angle is divided into two angles now observe here angle for angle one p is the vertex and these two are the arcs for angle two p only the vertex and these two are the arcs and this angle is common for both the angles this side this side angle so these two angles are said to be adjacent angles for suppose i have like this Now, uh, so even angle one and two are starting with P only, but angle one is having two different arms and angle two is having two different arms. So these two are not adjacent angles. Okay. And next topic is. Linear. Linear pair is nothing but two angles are adjacent compulsive. So we are observe angle one and angle two are adjacent angles because they are starting with the same vertex and they are having one of the arm common. So these two are adjacent angles. And observe it in this straight line. Yes or no? Means it is making one and two compulsive. So if two angles are adjacent and supplementary, then those two are said to be linear pair. Okay, only two angles. If two angles are having are adjacent and the sum is equal to one eighty degrees, then those are said to be linear. For example, I have now this right now angle. Observe here, I get ninety degrees. Even angle one and angle two are adjacent, but the sum is equal to ninety. That's why these two now comes under linear. Okay. And if I have, I have like this straight line. So we know that every straight line measures one eighty degrees. But if I have instead of two angles, three angles, it is divided into three angles. This one also not a linear pair. Pair is only two angles. Okay. Now coming to the next question. The next type of angles. Vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. So I may tell you, I may tell you. If two lines are meeting. At a point, we are calling them as intersecting. And in case of intersectingness, we are getting two pairs of opposite angles. These two pairs of opposite angles are said to be vertically opposite angles. Okay. And here, angle one is opposite to angle three, and angle two is opposite to angle four, and always vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay, the angles are which are opposite to each other are said to be vertically opposite angles, and those are equal. Always they are equal. And next, coming to the some of the problems depending on which topic. So I will explain this. Once again, I will give you the advice. Okay, now coming So my first problem is the complement of 
find this mean dash. I mean, supplement that. One twenty is mean dash. And thirdly, if the ratio of two uh, complementary angles is One is to eight, then the angles are, then the angles are, and if the ratio of two supplementary angles is angles is. Four is to five. Then the angles are. So observe these type of questions depending on complementary and supplementary angles. Just observe complementary angles in the sense compulsory that sum is equal to ninety degrees to must be. And complement of five degrees they are asking. So one of the angles five degrees. Then how much we need to aggregate ninety? Ninety minus five. That is nothing but eighty-five degrees. Eighty-five plus five is equal to ninety. So complement of five is eighty-five. Complement of eighty-five is five degrees. And here they are asking about the same thing, but instead of complement, supplement are. So supplement of one hundred degrees. That is nothing but one eighty minus one hundred. So which is equal to sixty degrees. Then when ratio is given. Ratio to complementary angle. So here the term is complementary, and we know that complementary angle is sometimes equal to ninety. So first of all, here sum of complementary angles is equal to ninety degrees. And here given ratio is one is to eight. So total parts of the ratio. One plus eight is nothing but nine. Then first angle will be one out of nine parts of nine degrees. So nine one by nine degrees is equal to ten degrees. See in two supplement uh, complementary angles, one is ten degrees. Then one of the other one eight degrees. Yes or no? Ninety minus ten eighty. So that one of the three one to find out. So find. Second angle is equal to eight by nine into nine. Nine one by nine ten. So eight is the eight degrees. So required angles are ten degrees and eight degrees. Same like that only for supplementary angles also. But instead of ten degrees, we have to take sum equal to nine one eight. So sum is equal to one eight degrees. And total parts of the ratio. Given ratio is four is to five. So total parts will be equal to four plus eight nine. First angle is four out of nine into one eighty, and second angle is five out of nine into one eighty. Nine one the nine twenty the four twenty the eighty degrees is my first angle, and nine one the nine twenty the five twenty the hundred degrees is my second angle. So remember, whenever they are asking about complement or supplement, you have to remember that the sum is equal to ninety in case of complement angle and sum of the supplement angles. By using that, we need to uh, find out the angles. If the ratio is given, this is the process to find. If only larger angle they are asking, so if you observe, one is to eight, one is the smaller parts and eight is the greater part. So only larger angle is my main. Then eight out of nine parts, eight by nine into nine because it is complementary. See, for suppose ratio I have given three is to six. Okay, in that case. I want to find out smaller angle. Smaller angle means smaller parts into three parts. Yes. So three parts into three out of three plus six is nine into. If these two are complementary angles, in that case, complementary angles sum is equal to ninety. So nine one the nine ten the three ten the thirty degrees is my first angle. Okay. If they are asking about larger, six by nine into ninety. So six into ten sixty will be it. 
So this is completely about measures of lines and angles and in our next class we will start the new chapter okay. Thank you. 